Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I'm Victoria Conde, and these are the headlines we are tracking at the moment. The Chiefs of Defense Staff of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, are meeting at the Defense Headquarters, Abuja. The meeting is chaired by the Nigeria's Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, who is the chairman of the ECOWAS Committee of Chiefs of Defense Staff. Present at the meeting are the Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Tuga, and the Chief of Defense Staff of ECOWAS countries, except Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, amongst others. And the Senator representing Borono South Senatorial District of Borono State, Ali Indume, has expressed regrets over his open criticisms of the ruling All Progressives Congress and President Bola Tinumbu. Undume expressed his regrets while speaking to journalists in Abuja shortly after a closed-door meeting with the APC National Working Committee. Undume said he regretted taking his criticisms public rather than making it an in-house affair. He, however, insisted that he spoke the truth. The Deputy Director General of the Asue OGA Campaign Management, Olu Martins, has described as fake the news making the rounds that the People's Democratic Party's governorship candidate for the September 21, 2024 election in Edo State, Asue Igodalo, has been disqualified from contesting the election. In a statement made available to newsmen in Benin, the campaign leader said contrary to the fake news being peddled by merchants of lies and propaganda, no appeal court ruling has disqualified Asue Godalo. And the Nigerian army said it rescued kidnapped victims and arrested suspected Boko Haram commanders and terrorist logistics suppliers, among others, during nationwide operations. In a statement shared on its official ex handle the NA said its soldiers rescued the abducted former LG chairman and arrested a notorious kidnapping gang leader in Egbe community of Yagba local government area in Kogi State. And on business, the Controller General of the Niger Customs Service, Bashir Adeniyi, has said the duty waiver of unimported foods would be implemented within the next one week. Adeniyi spoke in Abuja during a news conference by the heads of security agencies and service chiefs convened by Christopher Musa, the chief of defense staff at the defense headquarters. The CG said the duty waiver has not been implemented because the Ministry of Finance is still working out the guidelines. And on the foreign scene, Niger's junta has announced that it has severe diplomatic ties with Ukraine, citing comments from Ukrainian officials that appeared to support groups involved in deadly clashes in neighboring Mali. This was disclosed during Niger's spokesperson Abdurrahman Amado's televised address. This move follows Mali's own decision on Sunday to severe relations with Kyiv after Ukraine's military spy agency spokesperson suggested that Malian rebels had received necessary information to conduct the attack. And finally on sports, the Niger Football Federation NFF is in interrogation negotiations with Ave Reynard and Tom Sanfiet over the vacant Super Eagles job. According to journalists, the NFF has asked the two coaches for their financial terms. This is as the Super Eagles are still without a head coach after Finindi George resigned from role in June. And these are the airlines breaking the round at this time. Join us again at the top of the app for more stories. Bye for now.